son of a bitch. Hey everybody, this is Matthew Groves coming at you with my review of Days and Confused, the 1993 Richard Linklater coming of age film that came out at the exact right time to have a whole lot of meaning in my life. A movie that I always think of. When I think of great party movies or, or great having a night out with friends movies, I mean this movie absolutely comes to mind. I think this is just such an expertly made film with well defined characters and characters that you really come to care about and also to me one of my, my favorite moments on film ever I, and, and it's, it's a scene that I think that people don't necessarily talk about all that much I mean when it comes to this movie there's one character that a lot of people bring up and I'll, I'll be touching on him and I, I don't blame anybody for that case I think he's a whole lot of fun and with this Wooder, Wooderson played by Matthew McConaughey I mean I completely understand why people like him so much but there is a moment that comes late 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 in this film that absolutely I mean to me it's just the absolute catharsis of all catharsis in films now this movie, I, I think, is exceptionally well made, and, and one of the major ways that, they, that it's so fantastic is that they introduce just an absolute slew of characters that you come to care about. I mean, you have then there's two sides of it too, which I, thought, I think is really interesting. You have a whole lot of male characters and a whole bunch of female characters, and you see basically how they they have their la they they both have their the two groups have their different last days of school and then come together in the end. And there, I mean, there's so many lovable and hateable characters in this movie and well not many hateable characters there's definitely a few and, and that I, I think it's just a very very well made film in that regard I mean speaking about the guy side of things I mean way off the hop I, I really really enjoy their story and they introduced a, a, bun a bunch of youngsters and, and how they're kind of basically being indoctrinated into this world one, one more than the rest and, and there, I mean I could go into characters in this film but there's there, I mean there's so so many so I'm going to only touch on, on a few that really 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 stand out for me but overall I mean you have Jason London the main character of, of the guys who basically takes a guy under his wing and he seems like essentially like the kind of coolest guy of them all where you know he's the guy that would bring people in and wants everybody to be having a good time and and all this I, I think he's great I mean just across the board they're fantastic and then you have kind of the the, the women that you have the the senior girls that some there's a couple of them that are kind of really wanting to exert their their power over the the junior girls but for the most part most of these ladies are also equally awesome and and, and, and welcoming and and you can definitely tell that once they kind of humiliate their char these characters just like the guys do but instead of it being more violent it's more embarrassment that they most of them want to to welcome them into their world just as much as the guys do and and that's one of the major things i like about this movie is that you have this whole this whole concept of these two groups that you know they're indoctrinated people into their society in different ways but then once that's done they all come together to form the, this nucleus of the high school life and, and 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 their perspective on that I think is really really cool and like I said I do th I do feel like there is definitely uh, some fantastic characters I mean this this is the last day of school this gigantic party and, and they, they so many so many characters are introduced but there's some that definitely stand out one of which is played by Ben Affleck and that is not at all because he ended up becoming a celebrity after this movie which he definitely wasn't at the time I just think he is such a hateable character he's this guy who basically the, the male characters in this film they want to paddle the butts of, of, of the juniors and it's something they all went through and, and they, they enjoy the prospect of doing it they think it's gonna be a lot of fun but Ben Affleck's character relishes it a little bit too much and he's a real jerk about it so eventually when you see him have this come up and it's just such a uh, it's such a juicy, juicy moment that you enjoy so much. And then, I mean, I, I'll, I'll admit, it, maybe this is this is the, me speaking as as a dude, but I always related most in this movie to the to the guy, the young guy who becomes the the one that is welcomed into their group more than the rest and goes and, and has a, has a 
parties with the guys uh, and, uh, and I have two older brothers so I remember having experiences very much like this so I always identified with him a lot and like there's moments later in this film where he's clearly drunk and he's being asked by somebody if he is and he's kind of playing it off and trying to be cool but you can tell it's a little bit of a show as well I, I thought he, I thought his character was very well written I identified him with him a whole heck of a lot and like I said before Wooderson played by Matthew McConaughey I mean the guy just knocks the role out of the park I mean he has so many classic lines of like the all right all right all right and the whole line about they get older and he stays the same age or they stay the same age and he gets older is how it shows that <laughs> but i mean he's just such a lovable buffoon and, and it's so fascinating too because as you're watching this movie you can as you grow up you can see his character in a different perspective where like as he gets older you, you start to feel, see him as, as this really kind of pathetic guy whereas when you're younger you see him as kind of like uh, you know this really great guy and but at the same time even when you get older you see how he could potentially grow into a very pathetic character you still have a great deal of affection for him and i think a lot of that is down to the charisma and charm of mcconaughey's performance and then you have the the main woman in, that is one of the senior women played by an actress by the name of Michelle Burke. I mean, I think she she just feels like the character that everybody else wants to get the approval of. I mean, even Jason Lennon's character, the guy who's welcoming the youngster in, he, he definitely wants to, to be on her good side. And there, they, there is a, a, a fledgling relationship between the two of them. And you can completely understand why everybody around her seems to, to like her so much. She seems like a very lovable person and, and frankly, I saw this movie as a teen. She's extremely hot. I mean, I, I think she does a fantastic job in this film. And then there's a character by the name, played by an actor by the name of Go Adam Goldberg, where he's just kind of like he's one of the nerdiest guys in the film, and he ends up getting in a fight later on. And and his whole story, I think, is 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 very affecting and and effective. So. I absolutely love this movie. I mean, I could keep going on and on about all the characters that, that touched me, but I mean, and uh, but I guarantee you, the people watching this will be able to bring up plenty of people that, that were more effective for them than some of the people I brought up. But I think that's one of the keys to this movie is that there's somebody there for anybody. And, and like I said before, I think it has one of the most effective scenes in film ever. And that is at the very, very end of the movie, you have a, a, a core nucleus of people that are decided to go on a road trip to try to get Aerosmith tickets and as they're driving down the road it, it's just such a perfect moment that it's kind of the morning after the second wind the, the that moment where you know you've had a great time but you're exhausted but you you could easily go down and, and, and sleep the, the rest of the day away or whatever but you're like okay I'm going to keep going and, and as they're driving down the road the, the wind in their hair the, the communal feeling I mean it just for me it works on every level I, I just think it's absolutely fantastic so those are my thoughts on Days and Fuse let me know in the comment section below what you think if you love it like I do whatever other than that please hit that like button hit that share button lets other people know this video exists and hopefully they'll come check it out and let me know what they think and if you are new here you just haven't done it yet please 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 hit subscribe hit that notification bell that way you can find out when I put out a new video and come and check it out and other than that have yourself a good day Oh. Uh...